Hello and welcome. After some months in Javol, this is your friend, the Kamrachin, appearing once again on Facebook Live. I'm still in the process of trying to get my Kamrachin and his cats project together. I think I need to record at least one or two more before I can think about making a YouTube page for it. Also, I'm looking forward to the intervention and inventiveness of one or two people who have volunteered to help me with the video, video editing of this. So let me just talk about a topic that I have been seeing coming up in the news increasingly. And I think this falls under the category, not only of current events, but also of um, critical thinking. Here's the thing. What I've noticed in the media is that when people criticize our current resident of the White House, uh, Donald J. Trump, um, it's usually not too long before you see someone who is on the more conservative side of the political spectrum say something to the effect of, but what about something that Obama did? Or what about something that Clinton did? Here's the problem. There's a word for that. It's called 2 co -K. And if anyone who wants to help me with creating a really professional um, video uh, fit for being uploaded to um, Facebook, um, I'm sorry, YouTube uh, wants to help, you know, perhaps you could put, let me think here. Yes, the word 2 co -K spelled T-U and then Q-U-O-Q-U-E. It's a Latin expression, and it roughly translates as you do the same. John Oliver basically reinvented that when he talked about the concept of what about ism. Uh, it's the same thing. Because even if someone else did something that did not, does not in and of itself make that something good. Uh, good, bad, it's not dependent upon the person who doesn't. Just if a liberal does something bad, that does not mean that a conservative is excused if they do something bad. So keep your eye out for this. And if you can give me some concrete examples of this, I would I'll be glad to feature those, uh, perhaps with a direct attribution uh, on a subsequent podcast. But I just want to kill you in. If you keep following popular media and reportage about what's going on in politics, keep your eye out for this one all too common logical fallacy to complicate what John Oliver called whataboutism. Just because a liberal did something, that does not excuse a Republican or a conservative. Just because a conservative did something, I hate to tell you this, liberals, that does not excuse a liberal. There are some things that are wrong. And what political party or what political inclination you lean towards is irrelevant. Wrong is wrong. QED. This is all too common. Another, uh, it's worth commenting that there's another embedded logical fallacy in the concept of two, two coquet, which is a false dilemma, sometimes called a false dichotomy. It assumes that all truth falls on either a liberal or a conservative axis. But here's the thing, just because some of the opposing party did something, that does not make it a valid, necessary, proper, ethical, or moral thing to do. So, any suggestions of examples of two coquet, aka whataboutism, that I could use as illustrations in this concept? Uh, let me know. Um, just a quick thought and observation and hopefully grist for a more formally and fully produced podcast 
in time, which I will hopefully be able to upload to YouTube. Thoughts, ideas, please let me know. This is your curmudgeon making a quick observation about current events and critical thinking. Good evening.